Okay, how to model a thistle or a trident. I'm going to go into the for view and I'm going to take this picture that already exists, throw it onto that plane. So now I can model around it. Uh, go to the the linear tool. I'm going to click around and just make points wherever wherever there's meant to be a curve or where there's meant to be an end point. So just go along like that. Once that's done and complete, we've got this. We've got a rough outlined spline. That's what we call it, a spline, which um, which outlines the shape. Now I want to make it curved. I'm gonna curve it along the the shape. So what we need is the point tool, and hold down shift and you click one and right click and press soft interpolation right um, soft interpolation you see it becomes smoother if I move it around you can see how smooth it becomes now in one go I can highlight quite a few and uh, do soft interpolation in all of them now you see we have the shape um, it looks good we just need to click put bits and pieces here and there and move them around until they look perfect and let's get out of there and go into the the four view and come back to the 3d view that's looking pretty good I can still adjust it from here but make sure you just keep it on the same X Y axis and not let it go down the Z for now anyway and I'll keep tweaking this for a bit so now you want to add an extrude nerves and put the spline underneath it that is uh, fairly decent uh, give it a fillet cap so that each side is soft um, let's go to the object and make it thinner just so that it's like a blade yeah that's right now I want to make this more realistic so let's go click on the spline take the point tool and let's take a couple of points and let's move it on the next dimension I'm gonna take those two move it along that axis yeah now it looks more like a, a real blade or a knife um, we'll keep doing that down here right down here and I'll move that in this way so it's more like a inside blade well I mean a curved blade So let's move this up and add a cylinder underneath to make the the bit that you hold. Um, I'll use a cylinder for that and while I shape that. An interesting fact about um, the trident or the trussel as we call it. Um, the three prongs, the, the three sharp bits, they actually represent a couple of things. Um, one of the things it represents are the three types of suffering uh, destroying the three types of suffering which are mental physical and uh, mental physical and uh, spiritual that's it those three types of suffering and it also represents the three modes of nature that's uh, ignorance uh, activeness and spiritual well-being um, I know them in Sanskrit as uh, Thomas Rogers and Sattvic. Uh, there's a fact. Anyway, let's make this top bit more suited. Now I want to select all of these faces all the way around and uh, extrude them out, make them a little bit bigger. Um, so we'll extrude it like so. I think the top 
the top face could come in a little bit because that doesn't look too real at the moment and let's go over here and um, make the extrude nerves red so we can't see it for now so I can work over here so let, let's select all of these faces with the life select tool got that now scale bring it down no not like that scale it down by holding out clicking outside that's it that looks a bit better than before and there we have our completed product um, I've added an extra bit of detail I did this drum and a ribbon and all that using splines too but here we are